Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stay on top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Now, guys, let's take a look at the gold market. So, uh, as we can see, the gold market stands in anticipated retracement. Uh, that's our logical suggestion that we discussed in our weekly research. Since market right now has completed first upside swing and finalized it by the creating the butterfly sell, so now we could say that the first upward medium term bullish swing has been completed. The market turns to retracement. Actually, guys, uh, where's we? we have spoken on the depth of this retracement a lot in our weekly research and uh, it really could take the different depth so it maybe it will stop at the 12 or even at 1180 or also is important level but guys actually even if the retracement will reach the 1150 this will not be the trade which it's normal retracement since we, we we should keep in mind that gold stands in the long term a downward action for the years and that's why the deep, deep retracement of the initial upward swing is absolutely a normal action. So the market has the momentum and uh, it should fade the momentum, the previous momentum before they expand in a new direction. That's why as the first upward swing has been completed and even this first swing was really uh, significant. So you can see it's almost a 300 bucks per contract. It's it's very significant swing. Uh, and then retracement for just for 100 bucks is just a trade retracement. So at, at the first glance it seems very significant, but in, in, in fact it's not really large. And uh, also we, we, we have to say that it's not the fact that uh, so, so deep retracement will happen. We just uh, look at the normal price action in the calm markets when it's uh, driving by its own some financial uh, rules. But right now the gold market is not just a purely financial, it's all also the political market. And uh, with all such mess that we have in Europe and the Middle East tensions in the, in the global financial situation, it's very large amount of different uh, factors that could impact in the market. And uh, I will not be surprised the market will complete just minor retracement as we stand right here and, and will turn to some other action, continue to move higher, this is also possible. But uh, right now, I still think that uh, we, will, we will still see the deeper retracement. Uh, and uh, keep in mind also, guys, that uh, this third on the possible head and shoulders here. It's a very probable market action that could appear. And if we will get the head and shoulders, we will get the continuation, some kind of the ABCD. That's why I mostly speak on the 1150. It's also possible. And do not forget about the reverse hand shoulders on the weekly chart. When the, top, uh, when the, uh, the, the bottom of the right shoulder should be around 1150. It's also interesting. So, meantime, uh, at the eve of the uh, Fed Reserve meeting, market stands at the first predefined level. That's what we have specified in our weekly research. 1240, 1235. Uh, this is daily ever sold area of the trend support and this is the confidence support on the forward time frame chart. Take a look, the market has broken through it. We're doing right back down inside of this uh, consolidation, inside of this, uh, below this trend line. This is bearish sign and uh, from that standpoint we probably could uh, speak on different intermediate supports. For example, the next support you could find at 1220 area, 12 even probably also will be some support, but guys from the perspective of our head and shoulders pattern here, the most interesting level for us is 1190 because this will be the neckline of the head and shoulders pattern. But uh, at the same time, to reach this area, market needs some external push because uh, market right now stands at the result and it needs to take some pause or some driving factor that could press on it even more that will force market to reach this support area. Maybe this driving factor will become the Fed meeting results in the Fed press conference, something of that sort, Fed solution, 
on the rates, on the assessment of the economy that we will get in the current week. It's also possible. Uh, technically, if we'll take a look at the hourly chart, this 1190 area is also interesting from the perspective of our double top pattern. Recall what we have said uh, when we have uh, talked on this double top in our weekly research. As neckline already has been broken, market right now stands up for minor retracement back to the neckline. Also, guys, here you will find the weekly pivot support. I, I just don't have it on this chart, but if you will plot the pivot indicator, you will see that's also weekly pivot support right in the daily average sold. So that's why market stands now in retracement takes some pause on the reduction. But what is really interesting is that you will calculate the target of the double top. You will see that stands precisely at 1190 area, where the neck line of the larger daily um, hand shoulder special could stand. So, so that's why on the hourly chart it's also very interesting pattern that confirms the importance of 1190 area. So that's that's been said probably the next important level for us uh, will be 1190 although between the current level and 1190 we also have some peak levels but they do not have um, such uh, importance as the 1190. So that's why, guys, currently I do not see even surp any surprise in, 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 in action on the gold market. Uh, it's absolutely logical and normal behavior. And uh, let's see how it will stand. And I hope that as a result of this retracement, we will get a pretty sweet entry point for taking the long position on the gold market. But probably it will not happen on the current week. I will not be even surprised if, will, if it, this retracement will take uh, one week more or even two weeks. So, because this is still medium term and a retracement that uh, is visible even on the weekly chart. And uh, that's why it really could take the one, three weeks uh, until it will be completed.